What the, what the, what are we doing on Thursday night? I mean, yeah, we on Thursday night, damn it. You don't need no introduction. Oh, God, go. 13 seconds. 13 seconds. Ar, 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 13 seconds. 13 seconds. 13 seconds. 13 seconds. As everybody knows, Conor McGregor won the UFC Federal Championship of the World. It was a very depressing moment. There's only now one Brazilian champion. And I think he's going to go down this weekend. Because I'm rooting for my man Cowboy. Hard. Oh, hell, yeah. Oh, right now, let's not talk about McGregor. Let's not talk about the embarrassment that was UFC 194. Let's not talk about that at all. Let's just enjoy ourselves and let's just talk about Miles Jury, who's going to be fighting somebody else, I think. And I know Nate Diaz is going to take on the menace Michael Johnson, but Jury's opponent's not in the oh, game. Diaz's opponent's not in the game, but I'm saying, hey, they're both in the same division. Like, screw it. Let's have them fight each other right here. I think they should fight each other in real life. Damn it. I know Jerry's now in the featherweight division, dub now. Yeah, he's now went down to featherweight. And you know that overrated. And I will never fight as an overrated Diaz, brother. Oh, they need to just. Nate and Nick hate them all. I think they both can go back to California in the hood they came from. Your eye favors are fucking fraud. 13 seconds. 13 seconds. 13 seconds. 13 seconds. The audience does not want to continue to hear about 13 seconds. Oh, yeah, my boy, he's a beast. And then, of course, Luke Rockhold took out McGregor. Took out. Oh, out yeah. Not, he took out Aldo, y'all, in 13 seconds. Excuse me, Luke Rockhold took out um, Weidman. In 13 seconds? Not 13 seconds. Should have been in the third round if it wasn't for Herb Dean. Getting the man almost killed. How about a new release date for um, UFC 2? Yeah, I'm, th I'm thinking about getting that as soon as it comes out. I really am. I thought I should have all the people we can't keep substituting. You would think we'll have all the people. I hope they have a better roster. And have Herb Dean. Yes, thank you, Damien. Herb Dean, my boy, is this. Keep it alive. Give me five again. That's terrible. You love. No, don't stop the match. What are you doing? Superman punch right there. Speaking of Superman punches, Roman Reigns, baby, the new champion in WWE. Yeah. I loved every moment of it. But I can't wait to Money in the Bank when Seth Rollins wins and cash it in. Seth Rollins is new back in Money in the Bank. Who cares about Seth Rollins right now? Everybody. Of course, why are we having a Thursday night edition? I'm going to something Friday night. People, uh, Star, Ring of Honor. Yeah, Ring of Honor. I'm a big time wrestling fan. That's one of the reasons why I got involved in UFC. Wrestling was definitely my first love. Whoa, right here. Stop it, Rap. Come on. Don't do a Herb D. Don't do a Herb D. We just said don't do a Herb D. Come on, Rap. Rap. Rap is here. We just need a staffing and shit, Dave. Come on, Rap. Mario. I mean, not Mario. Eve. It's Eve. It's over with that Superman punch! Miles Jury just knocks Diaz out! Boom! Superman punch! Oh, you fighting the computer on that one? Uh -uh. The side jokes. Uh, I'm beating the shit out of you. Oh, hell, Randy, yeah. Oh my gosh, it's Brad Pitt. 
No, that. Yeah, we have three more matches. It's not a short card. It's a decent card. We've had shorter. Yeah. We're trying to get every time. We're trying to get three to four fights in the card. I think last time we had five last oh, week. Six, six, yeah, let's six. I'm not sleeping. I'm not sleeping. Six good matches. Seconds. <laughs> I tell you, the sleepy one was Ronda Rousey in real life when he fought in Australia with the eight fights. I wasn't. That wasn't the Australia card. That was the other card that they rounded up. It, the Beth Caroni card. Yeah, she gets shit out of that though. Yeah, and then she later on she gets her ass kicked by Holly Holm the next fight. I think Ronda Rousey did just didn't prepare for that fight. I think she's so caught up in the hype. Yeah, she was caught up in the hype. That's what happened with Richard Sherman. Richard Sherman. That's a, that, that's football. But you get caught up in the hype. And, 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 and but you get caught up in the height of fighting, you get hurt. But it's San Diego football. All right. Basketball. Um, we're I gonna do something. Who is Steph Curry? But he's not caught up in the height. Right, he's, he's not. I'm just a little tired of hearing about Steph Curry. Steph Curry doesn't speak about it. We're gonna do something a little interesting. Let's have the computers just fight each other out. Can we do that? I think we can. Yeah. Why? 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 Uh, why? I'm gonna pick a fight. I'm gonna pick a fight. You can't pick any. It's gonna be Overhand versus Dos Santos, and everybody. I'm thinking Dos Santos wins this fight. You black. <laughs> Man, yeah, that, that could happen. Are you sure? Yeah, damn it, I'm sure. Damn right, I'm sure. Uh, that gives me a chance. You, you talk to the people. Talk to the people. I gotta get something to drink. I'm thirsty. No, because someone got to talk to the people. I will, but can you get me something to drink? I will get something to drink, no, but just okay. talk to the people. Don't tell them about no damn album. I have a car la yeah, last week. You have seen 107, ah, 194. 13 seconds you know about. Now let's see what's going on. Uh, Mario, so something gonna go down wrong. I'm going over here in this match. I don't know why. Maybe because he's just black. I don't know why. But that, those fights were good. Rock Cole come out with. You know, you know what was wrong with that fight right there? The Wyman, the Rock Cole fight? Wyman just wasn't basic. He was himself, he wanted to do fancy smanchy anchy where Rock Cole was fancy smanchy and knock his ass out, I believe. And also, 13 seconds happened. Who can't forget that? Aldo could not make weight. Now he'll never get a rematch, or he'll never know who will win the second time around. It'll probably be 13 seconds anyway. But I really want to see the second match. A lot of people want to see the second match. Please leave a comment if you're watching this. Who would you like to see Aldo McGregor number two? Aldo McGregor two. Thank you. My brother's up here with my drink. The drink. Or shot glass. Thank you. Big ass cops. <laughs> he always does. I can't get my head so Alright. Let's see what they do. You know what I'm saying? All the fighters are trying to say Daniel Cormier's ripped. You're trying to say Daniel Cormier's not ripped? Not fat. Not fat, but fat too. We're going to see Big Foot, baby. In our EA Sports Fight League Championship fight. Bigfoot will defend his heavyweight title against some guy that starts with an A. I don't know how to pronounce his name. Good shot by DeSantos the leg hit. DeSantos, DeSantos, DeSantos. Everybody remembers DeSantos. He fought in the first ever UFC on Fox card versus the, the favorite Cain Velasquez. Cain Velasquez was able the Santos, excuse me, was able to beat him in thirty some seconds and won the UFC. Thirty seconds. 
I mean, at the time, the fastest UFC fight win of all time. After 13 we, then we know Ronda Rousey would go on to beat. Them records shatter them. And then... Ah, don't look at 13 seconds. 13 seconds. Just leave a comment below if you want to see Aldo McGregor 2 in real life. Well, I do want to see it too, because we really, uh, and I do agree that, but it's not going to be, to me, it's not going to be the hype that the first one had because Aldo doesn't have that sense of immunity behind him. And I mean, I don't know if Aldo's ever going to be the same fighter again. I think we saw the end, maybe, of Aldo. We know what happened to Barrow when he first lost. He was never the same fighter again. I don't think we're going to ever see Anderson Silva in the UFC ring again after getting caught with the steroids. It just, when you call steroids, it just questions how good you are. Yeah, you do. I mean, but Aldo, one time I had to consider it was getting to that best ever territory. No. I'm just so waiting for tomorrow, man. I'm done with finals week. Uh-oh. Any, anybody who's a college student knows the, the murder of finals week. And anybody who's a bio or any science-related major knows that finals oh, week... Finals week is even more of a killer. Why? Because it's more exams. And it's, I mean, it's, it's a difference between taking a science exam and taking any other college exam. It really is. It is an extreme difference. People who are not science majors don't know how to comprehend the pressure of taking a science exam. It's a lot of pressure. It is. It's, it's different than any other exam you ever take in life. Now, Overheim's looking pretty good. How do I get this round to Overheim? I don't know about you. Santos cut over it looks like his left eye. I like how they speak in Spanish in Dos Santos Corner. I never noticed that Dos they did it. Being a yeah, but I, I never noticed that the game did that. That they like speak the native tongue of whatever um, fighter it is. They know that they say in Dos Santos. I know Dos Santos caught him a couple times and got them to the ground, but he really didn't do anything when he got to the ground, in my opinion. Overheem did a lot of that throughout the fight. What about Overheem? Ever since that treacherous knockout, you know, a lot of people thought Overheem was done. He's gotten back up, and maybe he can get in that heavyweight title picture again. Whoa, good shot. I don't know why he didn't follow up. I know sometimes it's and when I fight, it's hard to follow up when you knock him down to the ground to get up too quickly. Yeah, it is. I just want hey, a couple of improvements I'll rather want in the new Uf EA Sports UFC game. It doesn't look like I'm going to get any of my fighters up to the, the career path. Um, I think the career mode could be improved a little bit. More interactive, I think. More interactive with your tire trainers and all that stuff. The training camps being maybe part of alpha male and all that stuff. Definitely think that could be something to the career mode. Maybe, I'll, I, I mean... Like how they yeah, I really do like legacy mode how they do. Oh, you're talking about the champion mode? That could be something they do, but I don't think they're gonna do a whole story mode thingy. Well, I like how they do Andre Bishop. That was a pretty cool feature, you know. But you gotta have a legacy mode like that, and um, career the career mode is for USC. It's pretty decent, but I heard that it ends too quickly. Yeah. I don't know. I don't like being spoiled. I haven't got to the end personally. I know it sounds ridiculous. This game's been out forever, but I, I have. I just goes on progress. It doesn't. It, you end about your 40th, 40th second fight has a career damage or something like that. But I have. Only, I never really got up to the top. I've been playing this game that long. I picked up the game in August. Maybe and no, I picked up the game sooner than that. And stop lying. I picked up the game around June. I really started getting involved in it around August and stuff. Really started to get a pretty good, decent feel of the game. No, but I don't play on a regular basis. I play every week. Uh, I guess it's not. It could be a regular basis or sub. But it's, I mean, you got players out there to play. He's checking them out online. Be playing every day, and we're like, I can't do that. I got a life. <laughs> I mean, I got school.
I got a girlfriend. I got I got other things in life. I don't. I, I mean, I play Matt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got school, I got girlfriend, I got Matt and <laughs> I got Robin, I got school, I got basketball practice and games and it's just like such a bitch to ballot for us. I also got Nah, don't even care. <laughs> and Matt and I like Dosato's doing in this round. I think he made one this round. We got a good fight going on here. We need to do this often. We need to do this more often. We need to do this more often. We're gonna do this again next week. Well, not next week. We won't be here. We won't be doing a card next week. Um, that and it will be Christmas today. We would have did something. We should have did something special. But nah, I don't think we're gonna. We're not gonna do it. There's no um, fight card next week. Yeah, we know. Here. I about that. I'm gonna Well, you will have a card New Year's Day. We're going to start the new year off right. We will have a card. The UFC has a card that weekend. I think it's the Robbie Lawler and Carlos Conduct card. So we'll have that and wow, more. Like, like, I'm not sure what the hell that was. I don't know if I hit a button or buy it, not by accident. Let's stop. No, oh, good job by DeSantos. I'm gonna do Santos right now. He's doing a pretty good job. You put that over him! I'll change my pick. I'll change my pick before it starts. You can't do that. Uh huh. I told the people to watch it. Well. I think the gameplay is pretty decent. I think the kick in and the control scheme, it could be a little complicated when you first pick it up. But it's pretty it's pretty simplistic actually when you start to learn it. And it's not that bad. I mean I think takedowns could be a little bit more scrappy. It's too controlled. I think they need to make takedowns more of a scrappy kind of game. And it, it needs to not stand you up so quickly when you're in like just striking and stuff. I'm over him is going to get a decision. The Santos has been too dominant here. And I think he's on Santos. I mean, I thought over he made a one the first round. So I got a Dos Santos. 20, it's a tie fight right now. But Dos Santos is clearly winning this round as well. Over here, stacked him. He just lit him up. I think he didn't think he could knock him out from that position. Whoa, good shot. Dos Santos should have. He should have definitely tried to go for a leg kick or something there. You can see over here, just trying to get the blood out of his face. There we go. We got a fight going the distance. Yeah, the Santos, I think, won the fight. I got 29-28. Let's see if the judges have it. They cannot go both ways. This is clearly the Santos fight. I mean, maybe 30-27 Dos Santos. I mean... 
Wouldn't be as disrespectful as they want to be. They're judges. They can make a 30-27 over <laughs> These are the judges, okay? So I guess I picked McGregor to win the fight, right? Yeah, you told everybody you picked Overeem. Yeah, Let's check the fight statistics. <laughs> I mean, Overeem threw more, but DeSantos clearly threw, landed more, and he landed a better percentage. DeSantos had more takedowns. Um, uh, we got a message. Yeah. Let's check out that message. There's a button in here. Hello, folks. Where's that button? Oh, yeah, it's in here. Uh, a few yeah. comments. Ah, uh, what did I thought about the Conor McGregor out? Thirteen seconds. That's what I think. Thirteen seconds. Thirteen seconds. McGregor. <sighs> your elbow. Thirteen seconds. I was. Knockout. Done. Was I disappointed in the fight? No. Yes, I wanted a little bit more drama. I thought well, was, if McGregor was gonna win, I thought it would have been a more dramatic fight than the 13 seconds. Um, I mean, right now it sets up that McGregor is. It looks like to me, it looks like McGregor. People look at McGregor as he's the most dominant fighter in the world right now. But I want to say that's still the case yet. I mean, I clearly think there's some things in McGregor's game that needs to be worked on. I think there's weaknesses in McGregor's game. He still doesn't have a good he still doesn't have a good ground game. And I think eventually that would be caught. I mean, but Aldo liked the charge. Is yeah, you're gonna fight a Serrani. Um Aldo likes the charge and he got caught. I mean, it's as simple as that. I mean and it still hurts me because I was picking Aldo and I didn't think McGregor had much of a shot in the fight. And it proved me wrong as hell. Ooh, that's really just fair. Yeah, um, but as far as what I thought about the fight, I was a little disappointed it didn't go longer. Because you're always disappointed. With so much hype, you were definitely not expecting a fight to end in 13 seconds. But in the end, it is what it is. And... I don't know what it is, actually. You can just say that. I mean, we're just going to have this a three-round fight because we're going to have a, a EA Sports Championship fight later on. Um, so, there you go, Alanis. Do your thing. Um, let the introductions... Oh, there will be no introductions. But, um... Yeah. I, I don't know where this is going. I heard that there's doctors that say McGregor can't shave enough weight to continue to make 145. It's pretty interesting. He may have to go up to 155. And that's um actually these two guys division. Excuse me there for the burp. Um, and it interests me on that. Hold on a second, folks. Yeah, the Irish. <laughs> Gotta give it to him. You gotta give it to him. I mean, the Irish are taking over, but, um, yeah. I mean, I gotta give McGregor to some level. I mean, he caught him. It was a good fight until uh, that point. For, I mean, but I think eventually McGregor will get caught with just, I don't think you can do it all with a stand up game. You gotta have a different. You gotta have some versatility to yourself if you're gonna be long standing in MMA. We saw, and I know it's female fighting, but Ronda Rousey, who had nothing but a gr nothing but a takedown, and when someone had a stand up game, when a superior stand up game, just made her look like a fool. I think eventually, if McGregor does not approve weaknesses he has in his ground game, he's gonna get caught by somebody. Rather that be Aguar or will it be Aldo again a rematch? I, I can't tell. But I, I don't think it will be long if before McGregor gets caught until he develops a stand-up game. 
Uh, I mean, not a stand-up game. Of course, he has a stand-up game, a ground game. Nice better get ready. Um, but I'm very interested in what you think about this fight this weekend on Fox. Will I think Cerrone's going to walk out champion of the world. I mean, I really do. I think he's going to be champion of the world. I mean, I, I personally root for Cerrone to be champion of the world. I mean, a guy who has the attitude that he'll take on anybody, anytime, short notice, no matter what. I mean, that's a true champion. And to me, he's been like the champion of the lightweight division for, I mean, pretty much been acting like it. Because whoever you need to fight, Cerrone's just there to fight. I mean, he clearly deserves the title shot. And I just hope he wins. Rather he had the skill to win the title, I'm not sure. But I'm just root I, I just love to see Cerrone just win the title. I mean he's a, hard, a guy it's hard to root against. I know the side just beat him the first time these two fought. But that was a different cowboy. So Sanjo's nose is pouring blood, and it is. Um, I think Dos Sanjo's gonna be trying to get Cerrone to the ground. Whoa, good, good shot right to that leg. Mm. Oh, he just turned it on you. Uh, he's got a bad leg, so I don't know how much you're gonna have to keep the f try to go after him. I mean, so, I'm very interested in this lightweight title fight. I mean, this lightweight title fight is going to be very good on, on Fox this Saturday. Last fight, of the, I think it's the last one on the UFC card this year. Most positive it is. So, it's a good way to close out the year. Right title? Yeah, it's for the title. Not our EX Sports Fight League title, but in real life, it's for the title. Yeah, if you put a guard up. Very good round here we have. That could have went either way. The Cerrone was definitely controlling the first half of this fight. And then he got caught. Why you skip that? Because when Joe Ro no one cares about Joe Rohn's feelings. Oh, Cerrone's got Dos Santos right now, full mount. Didn't keep him there though. Got him in the Kimura. Escapes the Kamara lock. Let's see if Cerrone is able to turn them legs over and get them back in the full mount. Now DeSanjos kicks out. Good shot there. I like the Soroni leg kicks right now. Ah, oh, DeSanjo's caught Soroni. Big back soup ledge right there. I 
And now he's really got Cerrone in a bad situation. Escapes the arm bar. Good punches right to the face. Sanjo turned in his positioning. Sonny was trying to get a takedown right there. Trying to go for the takedown again. DeSanjo's pushing off. Good Superman punch. Should be a save by the belt. I thought it was a knockout. Whoa! Crazy. I mean, each of these rounds have been tight because it looks like Cerrone's gonna win the round, and all of a sudden, some crazy stuff been happening towards the back end. Is Dos Sanjo stealing these rounds? And I think he may be. I think Dos Sanjos may be stealing these rounds. Cerrone got Dos Anjos in the corner here. Cerrone trying to keep Dos Anjos in the corner. And caught the leg, got him down to a takedown here. Oh. And cut is open up on Cerrone's nose. And this has been a good round for the Sanjos. If he can stop getting caught with this. And the Cowboy Chance are lighting up the arena. Wow! Oh, I almost thought he caught you. Cerrone trying to go for a takedown. Cerrone's taking some shots. Got the takedown there. Dosanjo's getting out. Very intriguing round because Dosanjo's has not been able to duck in, caught in this corner. Dosanjo's needs to get out. Dosanjo's needs to really get out. Oh. 
And it should be an intriguing judge's decision here. And it's shown a lot of Sanjo's highlights, but again, Joe Rohn has been wrong more times than the Lord Lau. I mean, he's about as wrong as Terry Bradshaw is about picking NFL games. <laughs> All right, here we go. Cowboy Cerrone, 30-27. Joe Rowe had like 30-27 to Sanjo. And Cowboy Cerrone, but that was a close 30-27. Oh, hell yeah! Cowboy! So Cowboy Cerrone, let's see if that happens in real life. Of course, in real life, it'd be a five-round fight. Ooh. We gotta look at it. This cowboy definitely threw a lot more punches. Went to the ground a little bit more than the. I, I think the fight would play out a little bit different than that in real life. Of course, I think the strikes cowboy would definitely throw more to the Sanjos, but not that more. They don't think. I don't think Cerrone would try to take it to the ground as much as we saw here. Um, all right, main event time for me. It's going to be our EA Sports Fight League Championship, and it'll be for the heavyweight title of the world as I play as the Bigfoot, my man. This might be a real fast fight. Because this man has a big ass but foot. This never went to decision, so. And he has a big ass foot. But he never went to decision, so. You know what we got here? The big ass foot. The big ass foot of the world. Uh, uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> Championship fight. Here we go. You gotta look at the, cause right now all you're gonna hear in a couple seconds is he's got a big ass foot, a big ass foot. And a powerful striker. He's a former police officer. <laughs> Hopefully, he's shooting my black people. <laughs> what happens in the real UFC? Here we go. Time to sing our song. Two, three. He's got a big ass foot. What? A big ass foot. What? He's got a big ass foot. A big ass foot. He got a big ass foot. What? What? A big ass foot. He's a good technique, great agility for a big man, and his jiu-jitsu black belt. He can go on the ground and make you submit. I thought, didn't we hear that music already with the Arlovsky? What's that? What's that? Mm. You're saying all Brazilians have the same music? I don't think Arlovsky's from Brazil. He's too white. No, he's from Bulgaria? The Bulgarian brute. Arlovsky. All right, let's get down to Bruce Buffer.
There we go. There we go. Silva going to use them big feet. Big foot going to the head. Big foot going at it. No. Trying to stack them. Bigfoot gets up. And Arlowski doing a good job here. Trying to get a single right there, no. Another takedown right there. Take him. Narlaski. <coughs> yeah. He caught the big foot. Submission hold. And we talked about the jiu-jitsu ability of our of Bigfoot. I don't know if he's gonna have enough time. He's not, and he could almost. And right there, Arlowski avoided, got saved by the bell, but he did a good job in that round. Maybe have to get that round to Arlowski, the challenger.
Whoa! Good knee. Big foot, using them light kicks. Yeah, take down. Got caught. And Bigfoot. The jiu-jitsu ability. Ooh. Able to get a free. And a good round. I think Bigfoot got it back that round. Bigfoot, I definitely think we rebound in that round. We got a good kick. Number three. Oh, 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 folks. <laughs> folks, the phone was ringing. My bad. <laughs> All right, folks. In a slower pace round in this one. Mm -hmm. 
And Bigfoot with a takedown. Trying to go for the Kimura. Shit. Right there, we had him on a couple of things in this round. Wow. Big fight. And good round in Silva. Definitely did good in that round. Right there, and just Arlovski's right now starting to get picked apart by them legs of Silva, the Brazilian. We're right in. Let's go. He's starting to see Arlovsky is slowing down. Good take there. Taking both for taking some shots. Bam! Stop it, Mario! Is it Mario or me? I think it's Mario.
Oh, he got called the fight! He got caught with a big ass fight! A big ass fight! He got, I mean, he just got stone cold with a big ass fight in the face! The f can we see the fight? Watch the jab, and here's the fight! Boom! In the face! You can't deal with all that foot in your face! That is too much foot for one face! Boom! Who can stop Bigfoot? And here's the official. Is he even up? And Big Foot does the job again. Well, guys, we got to go in short. Uh, happy holidays to everybody who came to, to watch us and everybody who dis watched us over the thing. And anybody in the world, pretty much. Happy holidays, wherever holidays you celebrate. Doesn't make a difference. Have a good one. Just have... Just have a good year, and let's start the year off right, because we're going to start off very right on a Friday night, because we're going to have UFC gameplay. Let's just see what happened in that fight. We actually threw a little, slightly a little bit more. Seemed like it, it kept, the, the totals were pretty close until that last round, where we really were dominant. But anyway, so long, we will see you in 2016.